Hey guys, welcome to the streams. Give me a moment and we will be good to go. Just sharing the stream on Twitter. We won't be a second. Thank you for your patience. Uh, because, yeah, it's going to live thumbnail on the Twitter feed. Okay, hello folks, welcome to the build guide stream. Uh, should be good to go. Uh, I believe we are all alive and connected. Let me just double check that we are up. Cool, wonderful, we are here. Barry James says, Hi, I've charged egg, I love your cities. Wish I could get mine to look like that. Thanks a bunch, dude. Uh, I'm glad you are liking it. Um, Just takes time, man. Like, I've got hundreds of hours into this game now. Like, I look at other people's cities and think exactly the same. <laughs> they, uh, they take a while to perfect and um, kind of, you know, breaking out of your old habits and trying something new is a good way to, uh, you know, just kind of, change them up a little bit uh, okay we can't do any more detail in the national park until we hit the visitors so we need to leave that alone for the meantime how's your day been Barry have you had a, a good day dude what have you been up to I feel like I need to do something actually along uh, the side of the forest industry maybe we can just make this area uh, a little bit overgrown uh, I'm thinking how does the overgrowth behave with the brush? Needs to make it bigger. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Let's just kind of plant a little bit of a base layer alongside. Okay, let's get rid of this guy. Uh, how is the stream quality, by the way, Barry? If you wouldn't mind my asking. Uh, so to make sure we're all okay. Uh, before we do anything major that the quality isn't absolutely dreadful. I have notoriously bad internet. Uh, do I want any trees along here? Maybe do some rock placement actually. Uh, been working from 6 this morning till half 8 tonight. So 3 jobs 7 days a week. Damn man, that is some... Um, that is some hardcore real life grinding. You need to make sure that you're giving yourself time to recuperate, man. Take care of your mental health. W what are your jobs? What do you do for a living, man? Do you, uh, are you a manual labor or are you kind of more of a civil servant kind of guy? Really good at the moment, awesome, man. That is good to hear because my internet is horrendous. I wonder if you can actually go ahead and grab some uh, national park fencing for this area. Let's go ahead and turn off the snapping. Kind of break it up in places as well. How's that looking? It's alright, I think. Let's go ahead and draw that out. Uh, you work as a cleaner for a company called Mighty, Mita, Might. What does that company do, man? 
is that like working as like a domestic cleaner like you clean people's houses and stuff or is it like industrial grade cleaning Damn, man, that siren is so loud. Uh, let's see if we can get in a couple of little bushes in this field. It'll also make it look a little bit more interesting. The, I think the fence definitely helps. Um, if we're kind of driving down it, it's a little kind of run down and no one really comes around here anymore. Let's go for some large bush placements in these kind of open areas. Uh, mix in a couple of trees as well. Got three people watching right now. Hey guys, hope everyone is okay. Welcome to the Build Guide Live. This is the second time we've streamed a little bit of detail in here. Uh, got a little bit of interest in last time, so hopefully everyone is up for it again tonight. Uh, let's bring a little couple of bushes around this rock placement. I don't want to overdo it too much. Okay. I don't think that's too bad. Kind of got some weird empty spaces going on here as well. Uh, Barry Deem says they do all sorts. I do two banks Monday to Saturday in a restaurant at the weekend. Fair enough, man. That's... um. Are you like in between jobs or is that kind of the career choice at the moment? Like is that what you are uh, like what you train to do or is it kind of intermittent between what you actually want to do? Uh, I work in marketing by the way, just to uh, join in the conversation. Uh, do I want this path of like here? I think we do. Let's maybe drag um, probably get another house in here. I'm not sure what exactly I want to do with this space. I don't know whether just to just don't we want to leave it empty. Um, it is, but really want to do streaming, but wife don't want me to. Well, so you just want to like head straight into full time streaming. That's uh, that, that that's quite the jump if that's the case. But um, you know, if if you're good at it and um, you build it up, then by all means, man, try your hand at a stream. Like this is like only the second time that I've streamed. Um, well, I did a little bit on Mixer before we started YouTube, but um, you know, my girlfriend's pretty uh, supportive with the whole YouTube thing. Not that I'm trying to make a career out of it or anything, but um, no, it's just a nice little hobby for me, and uh, she enjoys watching them as well. But you do you, Barry, man. You do what makes you happy. You don't let nobody tell you otherwise. I feel like my frame rate is tanking at the moment. Let's have a little look at... Um, Graphical settings here. Let's jump to medium on the textures and the shadows. Oh, it looks like we've had a crash. <laughs> of course we have. The only time that City Skylines crashes is when I'm streaming. <laughs> okay, let's close the program. And we will reboot momentarily. Let's, uh, let's bear with me a moment, guys, while we um, reboot the game. Because, like, City Skylines never crashes <laughs> on me. The one moment it does is when we're live. <laughs> of course it does. We won't be a second here. Let's boot back up. We'll be good to go. Oh, 
man. We're hoping to hit the uh, level two of the national park today, so we can add um, a couple little more details onto it. We had a comment in the last on the video as well to uh, do some terraforming, which I'm hoping we can do today as well. Uh, we can do a little bit more grander scale of terraforming. Should be quite fun. Okay, let's try again, and this is not the game I wanted to load up. There's a little sneak preview into uh, the first modular build there. <laughs> that was uh, the video, we just finished making up um, the first modular build video. That'll be going up on Sunday. Uh, that should be quite fun. Did some nice work. Have I just lost all my detail on that part? Uh, where were we? Yeah, we have. Okay. That was a nice first waste of the 10 minutes of the stream, wasn't it? Uh, you watch the same person I do. I love Imperial Jedi. Yeah, man. Imperial Jedi is great. Unfortunately, he doesn't upload too much on his YouTube channel these days, which is uh, really unfortunate. Um, I understand he's more of a Twitch streamer now, which is fine, you know. Um, everyone is a streamer these days. But, um, yeah, he doesn't do too much YouTube stuff these days, which is unfortunate. Um, shame as well because he has like 70,000 subscribers on his channel and um, for him to just kind of call it quits on YouTube after growing an audience like that is um, you know that's that's got to be a tough decision okay so I think I'm gonna go ahead and place in um, so let's actually redraw this roundabout with snapping on let's clear out some trees as well and we'll kind of uh, make another little micro detail area of the national park. Uh, let's go for all snapping on and grab our national park paths wherever they are. Here we go. Uh, okay, so we'll go for the one, just a regular one. Uh, no, no details on them. Make a nice little circle. So just off the main path. And then let's go for... So we have a little campfire site right in the middle. Right on either side. And then actually let's delete one of those and then place in uh, one of the little campfires that have the little huts on them. That's pretty cute. You can just kind of see the fire burning away. Uh, and then let's go ahead and place a bunch of tents kind of around the edge. And then maybe a couple of smaller ones on the sides. And then I want to actually go ahead and box this off so it's like its own uh, mini campsite away from the rest of the path. And then we'll shade it away with some trees as well so that fence can just kind of trail off into the woodland and then this one will follow the path a little more closely Let's kind of get it down to the corner there we go this national park is slowly starting to come together yeah, man, on the subject of Imperial Jedi, um, the thing that kind of got me into making YouTube was actually watching his Green Cities um, Let's Play. So obviously when the expansion came out, he um, he did a whole bunch of videos on it, and it was uh, kind of a big source of inspiration for me. I've mentioned him a couple of times in in uh, different videos. Let's go ahead and place, let's thicken this forest out a little bit. 
We've got a little bit of a rampart here as well, haven't we? Let's maybe go ahead and uh, clear up a little bit of uh, the hillside here, make a bit more of a, a harsher cliff. I'm just not aware of this come around to. Let's bring it around to the point like that. Let's get some different layers going on. How's that looking? Let's delete the trees off the hillside. I don't think you'd really get trees of this size being able to grow on the hill like that. Okay, don't think I like the redwoods at the front. Uh, I'd rather have them further back. So let's go for uh, a couple more along here and then let's use a smaller tree to kind of flash out the front. See how this looks. Let's get some people up in there. Alongside. And just come for the brush tool around here. And then just kind of bring the strength up a little bit. And then just flash it out around there. Okay, so let's have a look at some little facilities we can maybe give this campsite. Uh, let's come to the details. Uh, let's give them like a little log store for the campfires that are in the middle. Uh, let's kind of place one of these tiles down. It's going to connect up nicely. Let's maybe bring one uh, on the adjacent sides as well. And then let's place maybe a couple of little picnic tables. And we can have uh, the log stores. I'm going to chill next to the fireplaces so they can top up that spicy fire if they need to and then maybe a little a little well we'll grab, gather in some water and uh, maybe a little outhouse uh, that can sit I don't know where, where would you have an outhouse maybe just a little bit of a way kind of out in the woods over there and that's kind of create almost like a false path using uh, a couple of bushes and then just kind of surround this so it's almost like part of the campsite and then maybe a couple of larger bushes around the back here as you head deeper into the woodland okay I think that's too bad we should hopefully have some people uh, moving around here soon well, everyone seems to be gravitating towards this campsite at the moment. I think everyone here is pretty much a tourist. Aren't they? There's an exchange student there. We also need to factor in as well for recent episodes where we're going to put the remaining two universities. I was thinking of actually having the city university um, out here, kind of at the foot of the mountain. Kind of, you see this little basin here where it cuts into into where the land starts to raise up having the city university over here uh, and then as for the college of liberal arts i'm not too sure where um i actually want to put that we'll have to plan out for that maybe get some people's opinions uh, need to rework this ring road as well because we're going to be building something here in uh, a couple episodes time we do actually have some ore industry here and I think we're gonna have a very small um, industrial ore area that's gonna uh, sit on the side of the island okay let's bring this ring road down as far as we can close to the highways we can get it there we go and then we'll put our snapping on and then we'll begin to curve this guy back out we have five people watching right now. Hello everyone. I hope you are all having a wonderful day. And uh, welcome to the city's Skylines Build Guide Live. Okay, so that's going to cut the rim road back up. And uh, let's kind of tidy this area up in preparation for uh, an ozone. Uh, would you ever stream on Sundays after 9am as I'm home most of the day and I could play along? 
Uh, it depends what time zone you're in, dude. Like, are you in the Americas? Are you English? European? Asian? Uh, well, if you let me know your time zone, then we can certainly try and uh, bring the streams a little closer in so people can watch them. Absolutely. Let's go ahead and clear out these little patches of overgrowth. And then we'll probably need to level the land out a little bit here as well. Uh, let's go for, and this is a sensible height, let's bring it up, and we'll push it out up to here. Uh, UK, uh, after, what, what time was it you asked for? Uh, Sunday after 9am. Um, yeah, yeah, that is uh, a possibility. Uh, we do have a stream scheduled in for Sunday, which is uh, going to be Warhammer 2. Um, but it will be a long stream, so we can definitely um, definitely squeeze some cities into the stream as well. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll try and aim for that this Sunday. Got a little bit of water here that is refusing to drain away. Hopefully that should disappear. Just ignore it until it does, and the water will subside and flood the island for a moment. Uh, okay, let's make a little bit of a founding road network um, for the ore industry. Let's have a road run adjacent to it. Like that. And then we'll come back down here. And then have them slip on that way. And then we'll go ahead and grab our industrial road once we switch the directions around. So what, what are you building in City of Skylines at the moment, Barry? Have you got any cool projects on the go? Or are you just kind of building a regular world city? Nothing too special. What is happening in your City of Skylines? Uh, let's paint the ore industry area out here. Um, well, the ore industry actually goes into the water here, so maybe we should terraform. Uh, a little further out, maybe just up to this bit here. It's kind of, I don't want it totally boxed off. Let's go for a bit of an angle. How's that affecting the shape of the island? It's still okay. Could probably do with sloping it off. Uh, I've been trying to copy this map save you have done recently. Oh, cool, man! You're you're actually following along with the build guide. That's um. That's really sweet. Thank you so much. That means a lot, dude. Um, I'm glad you're finding it useful. Do you have a particular favourite build, just out of interest? Is there anything you've particularly enjoyed? Whether that's kind of the island build that we started out with, or maybe um, the University of Technology over here. And um, maybe the forest industry or the downtown. So we've got a full cemetery in the medical centre. Let's get rid of that. And you should begin to clear out. Uh, okay, let's kind of have a look. We've got some logs in the middle of the road here. Let's make sure we get rid of those. This water. It looks like these cars actually don't care about the water. <laughs> there they go. Uh, trying to build and see what comes out when I try to use my imagination. Uh, yeah, man. They can... Um, Cities builds, I, I don't know how much time you have into the game, obviously, but um, if you don't have too much time into them, they can be uh, annoyingly frustrating. Um, because of work, I'm still on the island. That's fine, man. No. A lot of the time with um, cities, it comes from um, people kind of rushing it. Let's empty this graveyard out. We've had another fire over here. We've also got some crime issues over here as well. Uh, let's have a look at a police station. Where is these guys' nearest police coverage? Oh, it's quite far away, actually. Okay, let's um, let's fix that up. Let's just drop in a police station alongside here. All these areas need tidying up as well. Uh, you're on episode three at the moment. Oh, yeah, dude, you have a bunch of stuff to catch up on. <laughs> that was a long time ago. We're on episode... Th the next episode will be episode 36. So uh, you're a good 33 episodes away from uh, catching up yet, but enjoy it. No, there's no rush. Um, yeah, so as I was saying, um, 
I think a lot of the time people go wrong in their cities, it's because they're rushing. Um, but you know, slowly expand um, and detail as you expand as well. It'll give uh, you'll fall in love with your city a lot more if you're kind of doing that and really paying attention to individual areas. Uh, okay, no, I don't want the tram road. That's not the one I wanted. Uh, let's go for the one-way industrial. Uh, I can't remember what was episode three. If it wasn't episode three, uh, the first farms, I think episode three was this, um, which has changed actually since episode three. Uh, so, but enjoy it anyway, man. I'm glad. Uh, I've actually had a couple of people comment that they're actually building along with the build guide, which is, um, I suppose, was the point. Uh, I guess that's what I want people to be doing. Uh, let's come out here and make a little bit of a block for how big is the ore industry kind of introduction building uh, would that fit in there that is quite the size isn't it uh, I play in PC and try to use the trident map and um, I haven't heard of the trident map is that um is that a workshop one? Or is it coming with one of the expansions? It's not one I'm particularly familiar with myself. Um, okay, let's build this road here first. And try and meet this guy. Let's hook him up. And then let's upgrade this road. And then let's go ahead and place the ore industry building oh, I wonder actually it may be not there let's have it coming into the road up to here I don't really think PC is the way to play this game uh, I've tried the game on consoles and I just can't do it with the controller man I, I can last about 10 15 minutes maybe before I'm just burning to pick up the mouse and keyboard again. Uh, and I am actually a console gamer, I've always been uh, a console player uh, on the Xbox, but recently I'm very much PC. Uh, yeah, it's a custom workshop map. Um, Conflict Nerd used it once in his builds. Oh, cool, man. Yeah, I should really, um, when this city comes to a close, um, I know a lot of my subscribers kind of appreciate the fact that I play. Um, relatively unmodded compared to some uh, content creators but um, I would love to kind of keep the gameplay relatively unmodded but maybe use one of the workshop maps because there is some real nice ones on there uh, there's a YouTuber as well called uh, Imperator um, who is kind of like a little uh, well he's not little he has like 80,000 subscribers um, and he uses uh, a really nice workshop mod although I, I don't actually know the name of it uh, okay, let's have a look what industrial buildings we have to place along here. I think there's only two at the moment, or uh, three. Okay, so we have the sand storage, which is going to be uh, a lot used for storing the ore industry raw materials. Okay, we don't need that for the moment. Uh, ore grinding mill is going to take the ore and turn it into metal. Uh, Jonas Letgain says, wow, I just found you now and you're alive. Started playing two weeks ago this evening. We'll try your transit hub. Awesome, man. Uh, enjoy the transit hub. It is um, a nice little build. Uh, there's two of them, actually. There is uh, the smaller, more compact version. Uh, and then we did the large transport hub um, a couple weeks ago. Uh, and that one is uh, from this city. I don't know if it's, this is the one you're talking about. Uh, where are we? Over here. Um, so this is the one we did the tutorial for, and it is um, it's always mega busy. Like it's literally always like this. It never ever goes quiet. Uh, so yeah, glad you enjoyed it, man. Enjoy building it. Um, it certainly works. It will tank your frame rate a little bit, but uh, you know you can still um, you can still use it. Uh, it will work wonders in your city. Enjoy. Uh, okay, let's have a look at some orange here. I don't want to. We'll kind of build this up to 
Um, probably a couple of levels. I don't want to do too much on it because I kind of want to save uh, the ore industry for an episode in itself. It won't just be uh, a live stream job. Let's go ahead and paint the rest of that in. Um, but yeah, that, that transit hub uh, video did really nicely. And then... Um, now, see, the, the how to start your city video is doing crazy at the moment. It's coming up to like 90,000 views, uh, which I never ever expected one of my videos to kind of hit an audience like that, but there you go. I actually think, quite compared to some people, I actually think I'm a relatively bad City Skylines player. <laughs> but, um, no, like nearly 400 people have subscribed, so I won't, uh, I won't say no to that. Just let me uh, pop up and refresh the stream here to make sure that we're not missing anything. Uh, okay, let's have a little mooch about what we want to place in here. So that will fit perfectly within that grid. So we've got a small ore mine. Does this place have water? Yeah, it does. So I'm just trying to think from kind of like a realistic point of view. Um, you know, ore is kind of ripped out of mountainous regions and a lot of rocks around it. So I don't know whether I want to kind of, similar to how we did in Fremwood, if there's any kind of old school overcharged egg viewers in the, uh, in the stream right now. Um, we placed a lot of different kind of rock assets around. Okay, let's delete this. And then we'll kind of come into a dirt road. So this is going to be the entrance uh, and we'll probably have a little storage unit on here right now as well just as a nice little uh, kind of introduction so it looks quite industrial as you're driving up alongside it and um, but rather than just kind of placing the ore mines row after row after row I want to make them a little bit more thematic so let's go into our landscaping tools and grab um, a couple of rocks, I think. Uh, kind of these ones, maybe. A little bit of a rock formation like that. Uh, there is some caves, actually, as well, towards the end. Um, where's the one that I like? I think it's this one. Yeah, okay. So let's kind of factor in uh, a little bit of a cave into the ore industry, rather than just building... Uh, the blocks around it. Uh, we can come around the back here, down the side. Okay. Uh, and then we'll have. Let me see how deep that these ore mines actually are. Okay. So maybe let's go ahead and. We'll just spin the rocks in the caves around. So they're facing the back of the ore mine. That way, let's, um, let's bring this guy in as close as we can grab him. And then we'll maybe have another one here as well. How's this guy? rest of the area will need water and power. Let's just bring these two down. Uh, and we'll power up in a moment as well. Uh, okay, and another one there. And we're a little too close for comfort for that rock. So let's go up and along here. Let's maybe spin this one round just a touch as well. Okay. So hopefully you can kind of see the point I'm going for here of adding in um, a couple of different rock assets so it almost looks as though you know that's where the ore's coming from. They're not just drilling down into the ground to get it. They're actually mining it out of um, a formation. Uh, let's go ahead and bring in... Let's see, they can actually get out here at the moment. Let's have a one-way road connect back out that way. Again, similar to all the stuff we've been doing in the build guide before when we're working with them. Um, we have a chat. Uh, Jemma's Letgun says, 
Uh, yeah, when I wanted to try the big one, I only have the Green Cities DLC though, uh, but you answered a comment from someone and said it is possible with the vanilla version. Yeah, man, you just need to adapt the uh, the, pub the methods of public transport that I use. Um, so, you know, you can just use the regular train station and just adapt the angles a little bit. And, um, you know, this bus stop right here, um, you can just replicate this with kind of like the similar roads here. So, you know, just make like a mini bus station, use the same road layouts. Uh, but as I know, the DLCs are kind of necessary, right? Uh, yeah, yes and no. Um, it depends which DLC you're referring to and what you want to do. The DLCs certainly make the game a hell of a lot better. Um, like, I have the game on Xbox with no expansion packs, and it is um, quite a bit more limited than um, the game with the expansions. Uh, but if you're on PC, they're, they're always on sale. You can, you know, I definitely recommend picking them up. Uh, I'm, I'm actually thinking of making a video kind of grading um, all the DLCs from Cities, kind of like a a god tier to shit tier video, <laughs> if, I, if that makes sense. Um, uh, okay, let's hop there. So yeah, one-way systems um, in the heavy industrial areas because this would be creating uh, a fair bit of traffic. Um, okay, what else do we have to place in? Um, let's have the ore grinding mill. Uh, let's have a look at the natural resource. Okay, I'm just trying to think where I want to go ahead and place this. Maybe up and alongside uh, this road here. I also need to factor in uh, just how much traffic is going to feed through the roundabout because we're already backing up a little bit here and introducing a whole bunch of um, heavy industrial traffic into that roundabout isn't going to help it. Um, I have a problem with traffic at the start of my cities when I get to about the 10,000 population. And uh, Shamla here started to watch the season a couple of days ago. One of the most beautiful cities I've seen so far. Great work. Oh, thanks a bunch, Shamla, dude. That means a lot, man. Uh, welcome to the stream. And um, we've only just started streaming the build guide live, but um, you know, if it goes well, we'll uh, we'll carry on doing it. Um, Barry James, you have, have a problem with traffic? Um, what is it? Just a case of that it's like it's backing up. Are you like honestly, dude? Like, don't worry. I have problems with traffic. I look at this roundabout. <laughs> I need to rebuild this. This is terrible. Um, this is like a really bad design. Dumbbell interchanges can be nice, um, but not for this volume of traffic. Um, like it does still flow. It isn't totally gridlocked, but um, I'm going to rebuild this into a diverging diamond um, in an episode at some point. Um, and a diverging diamond will be able to handle this amount of traffic. Um, yeah, it's like it's like this one. <laughs> um, so if it's happening at highway junctions where your traffic's backing up, it's usually because you don't have enough um, entries and exits onto your highway. So for example, I have all this population over here and over here as well. And the only way that they can get on to this side is through this interchange, which is really bad design coming from a YouTuber that does something called the City Skylines Build Guide. So don't do that. <laughs> you know, uh, we will rebuild this into a diverging diamond eventually. Um, Imperial Jedi actually did a tutorial on a diverging diamond interchange. So maybe go ahead and check that out if you want to build one. Um, they are quite complicated to build without Move It. Um, so if you want to download the Move It mod, that will help you out a bunch. Uh, but yeah, we'll, we'll rebuild that interchange. But don't worry. Um, you know, if it's kind of, say if you're in the middle of a town like this and you're getting bad traffic at a crossroads and um, you can see what I've done here to kind of alleviate that we have a bunch of cycling paths through here so people are choosing to cycle rather than use cars uh, and there's also bus lanes as well so usually you know like a big crossroads like this right in the middle of a town where we have uh, ferries coming out over here as well and um, there's a bunch of people driving onto the island and um, you know this is just going to help alleviate it because they're choosing to cycle and take the bus instead uh, so, you know, make sure that your public transport's working as well. Um, make sure you've got public transport. Uh, all different methods and different types of different distances. Don't just stick to buses or stick to trams. 
Uh, okay, so this ore grinder mill is a little bit too big. Uh, let's actually knock this back a little bit then and we'll build it on um, a separate road. And we'll bring, let's kind of follow the sands a little bit. But yeah, don't worry about your traffic, dude. Like, there's kind of a general sense of if you don't look at it, it isn't really happening in city skylines. <laughs> You know, unless it's like a real major traffic jam, then it's not going to present you with too many problems. Uh, okay, let's have this road come right down here, and then I think we'll place the ore grinding mill uh, right up alongside the road as they enter. So that's going to... I just want to make sure that the theme is right for this area. As we um, let's make sure we give the game a little save, because we did crash last time. So again, I want this area to kind of keep sticking with the theme and kind of imagine what they're driving past. Let's have a look at, uh, there's a garbage truck coming through here. Yeah, they do seem to be okay. This guy's complaining of no power as well. We will need to hook him up somewhere. Let's turn off the snapping. There we go. Okay, uh, let's maybe do a little bit of fences around here, just so we're not looking uh, kind of super exposed. Let's kind of, you know, obviously if you're thinking you're like a civilian, you wouldn't just be able to walk into this area. Just got some nice fences going along the side and uh, maybe up along uh, the side of the ore grinding mill as well. Just not move so close. Okay, I feel like we could do with something. Uh, maybe actually, let's do a very, very tiny bit of zoning just to try and uh, we'll see what develops there. So almost like little administration buildings is kind of the, the thought process behind that. Uh, okay, and let's bring the road further down here. We'll come out to our curve tool. And then we'll have this guy just cut straight across and into the road. Probably along this side as well, I imagine. Uh, let's bring him up. Just curve it around a tiny bit. Okay. Yeah, see, that is not the type of office building that I want. Uh, let's delete them and then change the shape. And then we'll just go for a two deep. I really don't want too many there. Uh, so maybe also fat something in alongside uh, the actual administration building itself as well. Let's see what we can get in there. Uh, let's have a look at the industry requirements. So we still need workers and uh, obviously the resources will come as we carry on producing um, ore. Uh, how many capacity do we have for workers? Uh, we have 140 capacity, but we need 150. Okay, so we need to place another building. Uh, let's go for let's go for another production building, and then we can get this one. In here, maybe let's kind of break up the pattern a little bit, and then we can do. Uh, some more rock detailing along the side. Would this fit in? If I did properly with it? No. Okay, that one's a little bit big. See, like these hitboxes on the rocks really annoy me. I hope they get rid of that for Cities 2. Oh, speaking of Cities Skylines 2, actually. Um, 
there was a Reddit post a couple of days ago about um, a potential leak for the game. Uh, I was thinking of maybe doing a little video on it, just kind of going over the Reddit post. Let me know if that's something you guys would be interested in. Um, there's apparently been a little bit of a leak out of um, Paradox about some of the features that are going to be in the game. How about some trench ruins here? How would this look alongside? I guess that could be maybe kind of like like a little floodway, maybe? I don't know. Uh, I think we'll have the fence up along here as well. So you know, this is kind of a dedicated ore area. That's strange, it is actually snapping onto that trench. Let's get rid of it for the meantime. Uh, and come all the way along here. And can we get through here? Actually, a little bit too close to the road with that one. Here we can just come straight through there. And then we'll just bring this down. So yeah, on uh, Sunday, guys, there's going to be um, one of the new series going up. Um, City Skylines modular builds. Uh, it's been filmed today, and uh, I think it's a pretty cool idea for a series, especially for those that are kind of lacking um, maybe a little bit of inspiration. Um, it should certainly help you guys along. Okay, so that's give us the worker capacity. Uh, let's have a look at some policies. Uh, improved logistics is going to give us uh, increase the storage capacity of extractors and processor buildings by 20% and increase in up upkeep costs and then um, safety at work, increase worker health, we don't care about that and increase production output by 10%. Yeah, let's go for advanced automation. Uh, that should be nice. How is this? Mm, no. Let's try a three deep one. Let's see what we get out of that. Uh, I don't think I want any zoning up along here. Okay, let's see how we're doing for space. We've still got a bunch more ore to extract. Um, We'll need to save space for the rotary kiln plant as well. Uh, Spartan Angel says, what's up overcharged? Uh, I caught you before it was over. Yeah, hey man, how's it going? <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm good. How about yourself? Uh, yeah, it's good you can uh, hang around for the stream, dude. It's, uh, it's nice to have you here. Uh, thank you for your support on the channel. I know you have commented a bunch of times. Uh, I just want to say it really does mean a lot. So thank you so much. Um, okay, so we'll leave the solar industry to grow. We'll keep it uh, just rolling on in the background and uh, we'll get notified when it levels up. Um, actually, just discussing the little town centre over here for a moment, I realised that we actually left a little um, a little corner uh, not decorated. So let's go ahead and do something here. I wonder what we can do. Let's have a look at some of the park assets. Uh, what's it surrounded by? It's a police station, some commercial, some residential as well. Let's go for some park tiles. Maybe let's have a nice corner building and then we'll detail uh, something next to it almost as though it's part of that building. Uh, so let's go ahead and place in some tiling. We'll use a bit of fence in here as well just to tidy it up. Kind of um, you know, make it look as though it's segmented. Like it isn't just a random 
bit of detail in it actually has meaning to it. Let's plot these in. There we go. Okay, so what do we get here? We got a big bite restaurant. Okay, that'll do. Let's actually make that historic. Um, it's kind of annoying that it's like a fast food restaurant, but I don't suppose that really matters. Um, let's go ahead and jump into um, the park fences. And then make sure our snapping is off. It's a little bit finicky getting so close to the paths, but we should be able to Uh, box this in okay. Maybe we actually box this side in too. So it looks as though you actually have to enter the restaurant to get into this bit. Uh, Barry James said, It's a shame that the campus house builds can't be used on their own, like when you use the district area builds to self sustain buildings from Green Cities DLC. Yeah, it is a shame, man. Um, I do think, like, yeah, I'm really looking forward to City Skylines too. I, I've thoroughly enjoyed City Skylines, but there's just a few little bugbears that start to appear um, after a certain amount of time playing the game where you just wish uh, a couple of things were different. Uh, for example, one of my biggest wishes for City Skylines 2 is to have um, zonable cemeteries. Uh, I think having to stick into just a regular cemetery that comes with the game is just so annoying because... They're really hard to work with. Like when we place the one over here, where is it? Yeah, it's like you're just constantly stuck in this box. And to have, or even almost like, um, like if you could paint out a district and then have that spawn like little headstones, and then you could have some asset buildings to place in there, maybe like a church and a crematorium, um, or kind of like a little grieving house. Uh, I think would be would be pretty cool. Uh, okay, let's carry on, kind of building this little like beer garden fast food joint thing and um, can maybe have like a little outdoor stand here maybe like a little street food vendor rents this place and uh, I think we'll just go for a single solitary tree we should be able to get one in here maybe one on the corner a couple over here and that would be nice to have one in there. There we go. That's kind of what I was after. So that's just going to tidy up a pretty, what was just a very boring green corner. It's nothing too special. Also as well for City of Skylines 2, like if they're going to give us all these props to play with, at least make people like go to them. Like surely it can't be hard just to like animate, um, like just a sim walking up. To the asset because they do in uh in the national park assets they do actually do that i you know these little people are sitting by the tent reading a book etc uh, how's this one do is this getting any use yeah there's a few people here now yeah so definitely want that as well and um, maybe we've got to do a video on kind of you know the top five cities skylines wishes uh, and have weather changed to all seasons like in real life? Yeah, man, seasons are a must. Like, to separate winter from every other season. Um, I can understand where they were coming from because they wanted to kind of add the challenges of playing with uh, snowy weather conditions um, and kind of, you know, the, the, the change in temperature. But to see your city move through, like, spring, autumn, uh, summer and winter would be so cool. And, like, some of the autumnal cities that people build with assets are just, like, crazy beautiful. Uh, yeah, definitely want seasons, man. That'd be um, that'd be great. Uh, spare me a moment, buddy. I just need to nip downstairs real quick. I will be back in a very quick second.
Okay guys, we are back. Sorry about the quick intermission. Oh, I have to grab a drink. I am talking a lot and I'm very thirsty. Oh, delicious. Uh, okay, let's have a look. Our forest industry is complaining of uh, not enough buyers, which is quite annoying. So producing paper and plant timber. Pretty sure this building over here, uh, not the food factory, uh, the furniture factory uh, uses both of those materials. Maybe we just have too many. Um, okay, let's get rid of this one. That should affect the demand. Uh, Barry James says, Oh, Charles Egg, where in the world are you from? Um, I am from, I, at the moment, I live in the Lake District National Park, um, which is right in the northwest of England along the Scottish border. Um, however, I'm originally from Manchester and I lived in London for three years for university, so I've kind of moved around a whole bunch. Um, yeah, so I don't particularly have uh, an accent. I, you know, I'm not particularly Mancunian, I'm not particularly Cumbrian, and definitely not Southern. Um, but yeah, so it's kind of a bit of a form, so a lot of people can't really tell. Like, you can tell when someone's from Liverpool, for example. Um, but yeah, I've, uh, I do live in the Lake District at the moment, but originally from Manchester is the answer to your question. Uh, okay, let's have a little look around here. This bit by the industrial interchange is looking a little bit plain uh, kind of where the the electric car factory is sitting uh, Plastic Man says you do <laughs> you do sound a bit like Paul Scholes <laughs> thanks a bunch man <laughs> uh, yeah well I am actually a United fan so um, I'll take that as a compliment <laughs> thank you very much uh, Barry says build some warehouses to store the wood. Yeah, that is uh, that would be the obvious decision, wouldn't it? Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, let's grab some warehouses. Uh, can we fit a medium in here? How about a large? Oh, yeah, we can get a large in. Okay, let's delete uh, that storage plant. We can always move it again. Uh, what are we making too much of here? Plant timber? Plant timber and paper, but there is more plant timber anyway. Uh, okay, so we'll go for plant timber. Uh, Plastic Man said hi, definitely confident, enjoying the channel, bud, thanks. Awesome, man, I'm glad you are enjoying it. Um, we have had some pretty crazy growth recently. And, um, yeah, we're very quickly approaching 400 subscribers now, which is just mind-blowing. Uh, let's go ahead and place this building back in. Let's get it up to there. Uh, and then uh, this office park in the middle of the um, of the wood industry looks ridiculous. Let's go ahead and rework this a little bit. It's just way too many buildings. It's not at all what I had in mind. Uh, let's get rid of all of that. Uh, okay. So using the asymmetrical roads here, uh, we should also get this really nice design uh, when you put them. Uh, facing adjacent to one another So let's have a little look so I want this kind of be again similar to what we just did over with them um, the ore industry Kind of placing like a little administration building, you know where you would have You know where the company stores all its files so a little HR department Maybe like a marketing department. Maybe I don't know if um, An ore industry needs a marketing department, but maybe you know who knows uh, okay, so let's come out up to here and then we'll have a plaza um, Plaza with trees I guess would be the most appropriate for um For the tree industry area and Let's bring it around the corner uh, And then we'll have
I'm gonna try and get like a little, little perfect, a couple of squares in here. Let's get some zoning in them. And then a big four by four on the corner. Let's have a look what develops. And then maybe we can um, maybe we can get some path to here. Maybe maybe that'll look quite nice. Let's find out. Let's uh, let's bring in some dirt paths. I'm going to kind of run alongside the fence in and squeeze him down the back. I doubt we'll get many people using these, but um, it's a nice enough way to use up some empty space. Let's bring him through there as well. And we have six people watching right now. Hello, everybody. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. Welcome to the City of Skylines Build Guide Live. Why do I keep getting these buildings? Please stop growing. Are these the 2x2s? Two yeah, they are. The 2x2 two two office buildings are really not very nice. Am I getting another one here? I am as well. It's got this stupid clown head on top. Maybe we just have to wait for them to level up before we get anything different. Why is this guy growing as a 2x2 two two when he has more than enough space to grow? Uh, maybe let's try it on this corner here and leave the gap spare there. Uh, Holty BWFC 007 says awesome live stream. Thank you very much, dude. I hope you are enjoying it as much as I am. Thank you very much for taking the time in your evening to stop by. It really does mean a lot. Okay, yeah, this is more what I was after. Well, something a little bit taller. Maybe actually, maybe are we overdoing it with two? Maybe let's just go for the one and uh, build a little. So I recently discovered um, the zoo paths. The zoo paths are actually really nice. We used them a little bit in uh, the last live stream. Um, so let's draw in something here. And then just around the corner. And then let's grab a tree. Maybe a big one. Just like that. Yeah, I think that's much better, doesn't it? Just to uh, maybe a couple of bushes as well. Just a kind of line um the edge of the pavement. And then again we'll continue the theme uh of paths kind of coming from a couple different directions and then flesh these out with trees. It's just like a little, little tiny business park. Nothing too. Uh, we don't want trees here, actually, because they will become polluted um, because of the uh, the pulp plant. So we don't want anything in there. Maybe, can we... It's wondering, maybe we can bring the road down here and then just round out Um, this little bit of uh, Possum Man says I play on PlayStation it's hard to find a channel that doesn't use mods you've made good luck in City without them top stuff thanks a bunch but it, yeah a lot of my subscribers are here for the no mod aspect um, like I do play with obviously more beautification which is this thing on the side uh, but you know that's just to make my life easier just to do little bits of decorating um, but yeah, like even though I play on PC, and my PC is pretty beasty as well, it can handle um, like a good lot of mods on it. Um, I just prefer playing without, like, I think. like Don't get me wrong, some of the stuff that people make in this game with mods is absolutely crazy. It looks beautiful. But, um, you know, it's nice to kind of keep content available for people uh, that either don't have access to mods, be that by a, a poor PC, um, or console uh, Barry James says depends on the mods some of the some of them make the game better yeah that is, that is true um I think move it would be a prime example of that um not being able to manipulate node points uh, without that mod seems a little strange but you know uh, maybe we'll get that in cities 2 maybe 
And the Goose National Park has reached level 3. Fantastic news. Let's go ahead and build some over there in a minute. Uh, camping site, lookout tower, lean to shelter, and lean to shelter number 2. It's wonderful news. Uh, okay. I think we're pretty much done here. Maybe a little bit of commercial, just like a little shop. So, my workers can grab lunch. I do like the look of that building. That is going to be historic. Ooh, what do we think about these? Uh, yeah, definitely. I'm not knocking the mods, I just can't use them. There are some mods I would love to have. Uh, Holly, I totally agree. Playing Xbox One, totally agree with what you're saying. Yeah, a lot of my subscribers are console players, um, which of course there is nothing wrong with that. But um, yeah, there are so many cities, Skylines YouTubers, that use real heavy modding. Um, like Sam Burr is one of my favourite uh, content creators, but um, his his videos are so mod heavy. Uh, I know he's done some uh, some tutorials um, for the city's official channel without using mods that have been quite handy. Uh, traffic manager is good as well. Yeah, absolutely. Traffic manager, we have traffic manager here. Um, although I never use traffic manager to its full extent. Uh, where did I do that little bit of... Um, where did I do that roundabout thing? What part of the city was it in? Was it... Yeah, it was over here. Um, so this was starting to back up a little bit, but just using... Um, I think it was junction restrictions. Yeah, just changing the junction restrictions to these icons. Um, really just help to keep the traffic flowing and again like you do have some very limited almost like mini traffic manager stuff under the traffic and routes and you can kind of play with the junctions here um, with the vanilla game uh, but you know traffic manager just expands on it massively um, yeah great mod hopefully again so it's stuff like traffic manager and move it I think really need to be in cities too uh, and Victoria Oil Productions has reached level 2 as well. Wonderful news. Everything is leveling up in one go. Fantastic news. Uh, okay, maybe let's discuss. Uh, let's see what we just unlocked for the National Park. Uh, scroll back. So. Unlocked a lean to shelter. Lean to shelter with a campfire. And a lookout tower and a lockout tower number two. I think the lockout tower would be sensible to sit up here. Let's have a look how we're looking there. It's kind of a little bit weird just by the roadside. We'll, we'll build a dedicated bit for the lockout tower. Uh, but we had a comment actually on um, the building a national park episode. And we were asked if we could do some kind of large scale terraforming. Uh, and I think we will, but I kind of want to save it for maybe over here. Create like a real big kind of sweeping uh, sharp edge mountain that kind of moves around the lake. Or maybe this here. And we do unlock it, because don't forget we are playing with um, extra mods. Uh, the, the map mod, the map unlocker mod. So when we hit the next milestone in 3000 population time, we're going to unlock uh, a bunch of extra squares. Uh, so we've got plenty more room to do up here and then along this riverbank here as well. Uh, Barry James says, I'm off to do a lot more work. Hope to see you Sunday. Yeah, thanks for stopping by, dude. Um, I'm sorry you have to go to work. Nobody ever wants to go. Uh, yeah, we'll definitely try and squeeze in. Like I said, we're going to be doing a Warhammer 2 stream on Sunday. Uh, but it will be a long stretch, so we'll probably squeeze in uh, a little bit of City Skylines as well. Uh, so you can hopefully come and uh, play along like you asked. Oh yeah, thanks for stopping by man. Hope you have um, a good night at work. Uh, I do not envy you going to work at this time of day. But, uh, thanks for stopping by the stream man and uh, engaging. Really, it does mean a lot. Thank you so much. Uh, I don't know where National Park right now. Let's carry on and have a look at what we did with your industry. Uh, let's have a look at the unlocked. So got the old grinding mill and then small ore mine underground. So I think we're actually going to replace these with these. Um, so they do actually produce more, I think. Uh, production rate 4,800 units per week and 6,400 units per week. Yeah, so they do. Uh, does it have more workplaces as well? Yeah, 10 more workplaces. I think it looks a little more realistic as well when um, 
the tunnels are going kind of under the rocks as if that's where the ore is being extracted from. Okay, let's have a look what else we've got to play with. I uh, also have a glass manufacturing plant. Uh, try to, it's fine, bye. Yeah, see you later, buddy. Thank you very much for stopping by. Uh, okay, so we're actually producing glass and metal right now. So, if I pop this on here. I don't know if I want such a major building hanging around on the main intersection. Like, traffic here isn't too bad at the moment because there's not really much here. Okay, so if we're now producing glass and metal, uh, can we turn... Yeah, okay, we can turn the lemonade factory on now, because we're producing glass. Fantastic. Clothing factory, we still need oil industry for plastics, unfortunately. Uh, and the bakery is complaining of not enough flour. We should be producing flour. Um, oh no, these are all animal products. Am I not producing flour? Um, farm. Do we not have a flour mill in the city? Oh no, because I removed it from over here. What a tool. Um, okay, we need to add a flour mill in. Uh, where can I get this in? It produces pollution, doesn't it? Uh, which is like really super annoying. Let's go ahead and delete this road. We don't even need it. Uh, let's get the flower mill in right there. And then he's going to have direct highway access. So he's going to uh, drop some crops off. And then he's going to head straight down the highway. All the way through here. And then his nearest access point is here. Yeah, so he has a real simple journey straight to the factory. He's not going to hit any problems trying to deliver the goods. Yeah, so clothing factory can't be turned on yet. We're still waiting for oil industry to make plastics. Um, is there any other factories that we can switch on at the moment? Oh, the industrial steel plant. Uh, we're making metal right now. This thing is like the biggest thing ever. Uh, it would be nice to have this in here. Although the road network is currently stopping it from being in here. Uh, soft paper factory we can't use yet. We still need oil. And the same for the modular house. We still need plastic. Uh, printing press again. Plastic. So the only one we can actually place in is the industrial steel plant. Uh, I think it'd be really cool to have this alongside the highway. Let's, you know what, let's just delete the clothing factory for right now. We don't, we're not using it. Uh, and let's reform the road network around here a little bit and uh, place in this industrial steel plant. Okay, uh, let's delete the road there. Okay, so it's just this road here, and then we'll be able to get this thing in. So this thing is an absolute behemoth, uh, it obviously looks very industrial, and uh, it'll be cool to have this going. So this guy's going to take metals and turn it into steel products, and um, let's make sure we hook up the uh, poor exit road again, so he can connect up to the highway. That should be okay. Okay. I actually don't know if I want this face in the other way. Let's try it. Um, let's bring a road out with our snapping on. So I'm just trying to think of the which face of the building um, I want facing the highway. Uh, let's make that a two-way road. Uh, 
Yeah, I think I prefer it that way. Just to have kind of the nice large, like all these little pipes that are running alongside it. Just to have this directly alongside the highway looks really sweet, I think. Um, although we need to do something with, let's do we, the water reservoir in this zoning and kind of rework um, the road network that sits alongside this now. Because we have a lot of this big green space here. Um, let's come off from here. Okay, so we have a road up alongside it. Okay, can we maybe get two of these in? Let's place one there and then bring a road behind it. Can we squeeze another one in? Yes, we can. Okay, let's hook him up to the grid. So I think that definitely looks more industrial with the water tanks there. I don't know. Let me guys know what you think of that in the chat. I love how busy this highway has become around the port. It all looks mega industrial now. Super pleased with lots of kind of interweaving uh, roads and networks that are taking people in all different directions. Wasn't a big fan of it at first, but it has grown on me. Got trains passing through as well. It's all very fancy. Okay. Not bad. And uh, so he will soon be producing metals. Uh, although it looks like we could do with producing uh, a little more ore. So let's try and resolve that problem. Uh, let's go ahead and upgrade this one. Uh, into the underground ore mine as well. Yeah, I don't want the underground one there. Actually, maybe we could have kind of these guys as like supplementary, like extraction fields. Uh, Plastic Man says, looks good to me. I agree, it looks very industrial. I take it those water storage tanks can't get polluted. Uh, no, uh, they cannot. And um, even then, I think these um don't they they deal with disasters. They're not actually for like uh, tank reservoirs. What was our city pumps more than needs excess is stored in the tanks? And um, yeah, so I'm pretty sure they can't be polluted. Again, this is natural disaster DLC stuff. Is it? I think it is. Um, yeah, they they won't get polluted. It's kind of like isolated. Um like water storage it's not affected by its surroundings like uh, the water tower and the pumps are okay so these guys are still whinging of not enough products now let's have a look at the infographic for the area okay Yeah, so we've got really the advanced automation policy is the best for increasing production. Uh, Plastic Man 67 says, nice one, yeah. Uh, I would keep them and uh, looks good. Yeah, I think so too. I think to uh, to have them one side, we just need to wait for some um, for some glass and steel to actually come to this uh, to come to the industrial port now. And then we'll be good to go. Uh, okay, let's have a little look at what else is going on. So this area here, uh, we really need to work on a transition from residential downtown into um, very dense industry. So we've kind of begun to round off the residential here um, with a series of paths that kind of continue into the downtown. I'm going to got so many people uh, using the walkways at the moment. It's just so busy. So many people. 
Uh, we could do some trees along here actually. Let's uh, let's fix that while we are over here. Okay, let's bring it down to single bush size. Uh, so let me know if anyone in the chat is um, kind of excited for the Total War streams that are happening over the weekend. It's totally fine if you're not. I don't know if we have any of the Total War fans in here. Uh, maybe you've never played the game before. Maybe you've never heard of it. Uh, let me know. I'll be um, interested to see if anyone's actually looking forward to that. Because if it turns out just to be a total flop and like no one enjoys it, then we will just knock it on the head and probably replace it with more city streams. So it all is dependent on what you guys enjoy. Uh, yeah, like we just have a random uh, office building here at the moment. Not sure. This is going to be a tricky build to merge the downtown into industry. Because obviously, the minute it's a very hard border, it just kind of ends and it looks a little bit horrible. Um, I suppose it's finished emptying out. Fantastic. Also, it's a part of the road network here as well uh, to expand the commercial parks. Maybe we could do that now. Let's delete the fountain or the, uh, the plaza. So we have a roundabout here. Let's bring that up. And then from here, see if we've got any more unique buildings we can squeeze into this area. We do have this thing. I have no idea where to place this. Like, literally, no idea. Cathedral of Plentitude. Maybe we can build this here, actually. You know what? Let's make this space here. A dedicated area for this building because I have no idea where I'm going to place it and we have to place it at some point. Uh, let's bring up the roads around here. How deep is it? Will it fit here? Yeah, so we still have a fair bit of space along the back. So, with that in mind, let's grab this road straight across and then can we fit it in there uh, Plastic Man says I used to play Total War all the time when I had my PC I'd be into it although I may not catch it live the weekend we'll watch it back later on however okay awesome man yeah so we'd be playing um, Total War Warhammer 2 which is my favourite Total War at the moment um, fun fact, actually, since I started playing Fantasy Total War, um, I recently went back and tried to play uh, Rome 2, and man, it was boring compared to playing Fantasy Total War. Um, like, Rome 2 was my favourite game uh, until I got into the Warhammer series. But uh, yeah, it'll be on Sunday and Monday, I think. I've scheduled in the Warhammer streams, um, so, you know, I'm sure you'll see them around. Uh, but yeah people are interested in them, then we will continue to do them. Uh, let's just have our grid snapping on here. We have eight people in the stream at the moment. Hello everybody, I hope you're all having a wonderful day. Welcome to the Build Guide Live. Uh, you know, let's just have all snapping off for this, I'm just making life more difficult for myself. Uh, where do we go up to? So we're just on the outside of the edge of the building. Let's bring this down. Okay. So I want a little bit of a, a nice grander entrance into this building. Uh, what total was it used to play? Uh, just out of interest, Plastic Man. Are you kind of an old school medieval guy? Or are the new generation Warhammer fans? 
And I totally, as well, I really was not in to uh, the Warhammer universe either before I started playing the game. Um, I always kind of associated Warhammer with a load of sweaty nerds sat in the game's workshop shops because that's what it was uh, where we grew up. But man, like, as a fantasy fan, the Warhammer universe is incredible. It is so, like, if you're a fan of fantasy, go ahead and check out Warhammer. It is just ridiculous ridiculously interesting like the lore and the characters and the universe that they have created around that world is just like yeah it's just awesome go ahead and check it out if you haven't already okay anyway back to city skylines i'll stop bigging up total war um let's have some paths around here kind of surrounding this thing I wonder if maybe we can actually get some little lakes in here. Some little... Because this is a green city's unique building. So I think to make it nice and green uh, would be ideal. It also needs some water, which we shall abide by. Uh, let's bring it down here. And then we'll come down here at some point eventually with some more zoning. Uh, okay, let's try uh, some water sources. Let's have a little play. Uh, tropical Content says hello. Hello, Tropical Content. How are you? Thank you for stopping by on the Build Guide Live. Hope you are having a wonderful day wherever you are in the world. Uh, let's kind of... That's a little bit too deep, actually. Let's try a water source in here. I don't think it's going to work, but we will see. Um, yeah, I can't get it in there, can I? It is just too small. Let's delete it anyway. Oh. Have I deleted it? Yeah, I have. It's just going to flood the city at the same time. No problem. There we go. That's just going to wreck all the commercial parks. But no worries, it will go away. Uh, I love your vids. Keep up the good work. Thank you very much, Tropical Content. I'm glad you are enjoying them. Um, I'm guessing you subscribe for the build guide, if you're here watching the build guide live. So, welcome aboard. Uh, let me know. I was speaking to Barry about this, actually. A guy was hanging around in the stream earlier. Uh, let me know what favourite build... Um, you have in the build guide uh, kind of like what particular episode was it the um, was it the flooded cathedral of plentitude I mean like was it like the transport hub or was it uh, like maybe the downtown road layout that we worked on uh, or maybe like the green downtown over here or like the university of uh, technology um, yeah let me know what series uh, what build is everyone's favourite in the build guide. I would be quite interested to know that, actually. Uh, okay, we need to connect this bypass road somewhere into the downtown. And I don't know where it's going to go. Um, so at the moment they have connections to here and here and over here. So ideally, this would connect somewhere over here. Uh, Tropical Content says, my favourite episode was the Transport Hub. Uh, definitely the Transport Hub. <laughs> a lot of love for the Transport Hub. <laughs> yeah, well, we actually had um, a couple of requests. You know what? As soon as someone mentions the Transport Hub, I'm going to take a tour around the Transport Hub. <laughs> um, so we actually had a, a request for a tile-for-tile -tile guide on this Transport Hub. Um, which obviously went up on the channel as the tutorial format, which is kind of um, a big block for block uh, guide on it. It did really nice. Let's have a look at some of the numbers now we've had the city running for a while. Uh, 851 from the train station, 24 from this metro, which is really low actually. And uh, how about this one? This one's always mega busy. Yeah, 714 on that one. 408 through the bus station in a week. That's crazy for a bus station. And uh, how are these tram lines doing? 
Yeah, they're not too bad. This helps we can kill some of the trams on this line, actually. Uh, Plastic Man says, I never played Warhammer myself, but I've seen some streams, and yeah, I agree. It looks very immersive and detailed. I played the original Shogun, Shogun 2 and Rome. Yeah, I heard, actually heard... Um, uh, my first Total War game was uh, Room 2, although um, I heard that Shogun 2 was like just like considered the best amongst the historical fans. Um, but yeah, like I, I can't play historical Total War now. Look at my frame rate tanking. <laughs> no, this transport hub is too efficient. It is murdering my frames. We can't stay around here for too long, I'm afraid. Um. Okay. Maybe via here we can bring this bypass road into a close. Because we need to find somewhere for it. Uh, let's come across to... Here. And then we can delete this. And then begin to descend. It would be nice to have some big skyscrapers up alongside this building as well. And uh, kind of seeing the cars flow through it. Oh, we're not level here actually. Uh, let me delete some of these. And then we'll come up from this point just so we know what we're attaching onto. Uh, let's come out to this point. And then cross over. Uh, no, that's not what I want to do. So let me know what other games you guys play um, besides Cities Skylines. Maybe we can get a little bit of um, a little bit of chat going. What does everyone love to play? Um, I'll start you off. Me personally, um, obviously Warhammer Two. <laughs> Um, but I play FIFA. Obviously, I'm a big football fan or soccer fan. If you're from those weird places in the world that call it soccer, uh, so I play some FIFA. And um, I used to play a bunch of Destiny 2 before it just kind of went really bad. Yeah, so let me know what other games you guys play besides Cities. Okay, how are we doing for the gradient here? How does this look? We should see some people start to use this bypass road now, actually. Um, let's have a look and see if anyone wants to take this route. Otherwise, factoring this in was an enormous waste of everyone's time. <laughs> yes, someone's using it. Thank you. <laughs> Thank God. Let's follow um, Sabrina Walker as she takes the first citizen to go over the bypass road. Um, and she's actually driving out of the city. Interesting that she's choosing to take this road to leave the city. Rather than just... It's obviously faster than heading through the downtown. Uh, Tropical Content says, I play Farming Simulator as well as City Skylines. I've never played a Farming Simulator game. Um, me and my girlfriend were actually sat looking at the Xbox store the other day for a new co-op game to play after we finished um, A Way Out. And um, Farming Simulator was on there. And um, it's up to like Farming Simulator 17 now. I was like, how has there been 17 Farming Simulators? <laughs> but it's obviously good it to reach 17 games and um, I've never played it myself personally and um, what is it you do B besides besides the obvious of farming <laughs> um, Plastic Man says Dark Souls 3 for me can't get enough dude totally agree man Dark Souls is up there for me I love Dark Souls 3 probably one of one of my most memorable moments as um, a gamer from this current generation of consoles is fighting the Nameless King for the first time Oh, dude. Dark Souls 3, man. What a game. They, they, they nailed Dark Souls 3. It had just enough new content, but retain, like, retained that real classical charm of um, of Dark Souls 1. Yeah, superb. So, Sabrina Walker has left the city. She has enjoyed a fantastic vacation. Um, is this a one-way road? No, it's not. Why is there so many people... Um, there, there we go, there's someone uh, Spartan Angel says American Football Madden, Call of Duty and Ark Survival Evolved can't say I have no idea what is going on with American Football, I did not understand the rules I know there's I know there's a quarterback that's about it <laughs> um, yeah I don't understand American Football at all, never watched it, maybe I'll love it who knows, 
uh, Call of Duty. Um, yeah, I've played the new one actually. Um, I actually really enjoyed it. The campaign was great, um, but I just had no one to play online with because uh, I very rarely touch my Xbox anymore. So um, yeah, kind of a lot of my friends have just you know got on with their lives. Uh, and Ark Survival Evolved again. I've never played Ark, although I've heard it's um. Hasn't it had like a load of updates out? Wasn't it um like a beta release game? They released it in its alpha in its alpha state, and it's been like constantly updated. It has like dinosaurs in it and stuff as well, doesn't it? I've, I've never played Ark before. It's like, isn't it like um it's MMO as well? I believe like it, um you know you can play with a lot of different people in the same world. Okay, traffic is beginning to become an issue for the downtown. It's because of the port, isn't it? No, not really. There are quite a few civilian cars in here. Okay. I mean, oh yes, okay, an issue has arisen. The bypass road. If it, yeah, sorry man, let me uh, let me turn my vape pen down. I'll um so you guys can't hear it as enough the nicotine keeps me going. Okay, so the bypass road is creating bad issues at the moment. Why is this? Uh, let's have a look at routes. Okay, so it's mainly trucks and private vehicles that are coming through here. There's a few city service guys in as well. Um, Somebody with an Arabic name has just written something in Arabic. I am sorry, dude. I cannot read Arabic. Um, but hello. <laughs> if that's what you said. I'm sorry, dude. I can't read Arabic. Um, okay. So this has caused a bit of an issue, hasn't it? Where are they all heading? Let's just leave this on three speed and see where they're going. So there's garbage trucks heading into the downtown. Yeah, pretty much all this traffic is heading downtown. There's very little. I, I thought this would actually be because of the port, but it isn't. Okay. We want to make sure we sort this out before we build any more in the downtown because if this becomes oh yeah look at this this is not fun we have cars despawning now okay i'm going to break that connection temporarily um just until we figure out a better way to do this so do we want uh spartan Angel says yes it's a feature dinosaur open world multiplayer craft and survive yeah i'm pretty sure um Hasn't it had a big update recently? I'm pretty sure I saw something like an article or like it's just had a big kind of like overhaul update. I might be wrong. It might not have been recently. <laughs> Basically something has happened to that game at some point in time <laughs> is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> uh, okay, I don't know what to do about this road. It's interesting that Everyone is choosing to use it. Uh, Plastic Man says, has anyone played Surviving Mars? Uh, I got into the series but not played it yet. Um, no, I actually saw it. It's it's on the Xbox Game Pass now. Um, I saw it on the Xbox Store a couple of days ago, but I haven't actually uh, downloaded it yet. I heard it's quite good. It's a paradox game, isn't it? It's... Um, from the same folks that make City Skylines. So I'm guessing it's going to be good. They have a bit of a reputation. Uh, let's kind of fill out some more 
downtown road network stuff. Let's bring that up there. Have a little bit of a road. I don't know how the vibe of this downtown is actually developing. Let's have a look at some more uniques, maybe. Maybe we can find something uh, in here for ourselves. We still have the Opera House. God, this thing is mega. We don't have that in there just yet. Or maybe actually I can have the Opera House on, on the pier over here. And just get rid of the cargo hub entirely because I don't know. Uh, let me guys know what you think. Do you think that we should have this cargo port here? Is it just kind of stuck out like a sore thumb because literally all of the industrial uh, boat traffic is heading to this port here? Are we just making more work for ourselves? I don't know if we should have this here. I really don't know. And maybe turn this into kind of like a peninsula for the opera house. Have some nice gardens here as well. I think we'll do that. We'll try it. And uh, if it sucks, then we can just always remake it. Uh, okay, so let's bring a road down here. And then is this place big enough for the opera house already? Yes, it is. Okay. Maybe the tree road would bring that to life a little bit better. Let's try that. Uh, Plastic Man says, um, oh, Spartan Angel says, I tried playing Survivor Mars, but never forward till the time to learn the game. Uh, and Plastic Man says it does look a nice spot for something nice. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Maybe kind of taking a little bit of inspiration from how the Sydney Opera House um, kind of sits on a key like this um, over in Australia. I think it kind of looks a little bit odd, and I can't quite figure out why. Maybe if we put this a little bit further down and then bring the road out so it's tucked right into the building and then let's use some paths to kind of link up the roads you guys are watching what I spent hours doing to make this series right now <laughs> just sat here going um <laughs> kind of stumbling my way around okay uh, Plastic Man said yeah in the same spot and I'm um, just starting to get the hang of skylines so I don't want to start something new right now yeah, I get that feeling too, where kind of, you know, you're already into a game and then um, you don't want to kind of divert away from it. Like, there's very little I play other than Cities, Skylines and Total War at this moment in time. Uh, okay, let's bring these paths down and kind of make a little bit more fuss out of the entrance to this opera house. Um, Let's have a path that runs right through the middle. And then let's do some nice tree decorating here. Uh, let's grab a couple of bushes to kind of run the edge of the roundabout. Uh, let's have these in now. We have eight people watching right now. Hello, everybody. Uh, welcome to the City Skylines Build Guide Live. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. Uh, feel free to suggest some ideas or designs that you like okay let's go for a couple of bigger bushes and uh, some little dots of color using some trees 
Uh, Spark Angel says it takes me three hours just to build a small zone. Most of the time I'm thinking of rotating the camera. Yep. <laughs> totally know what you feel like. Uh, let's kind of go for a repeating pattern here. I really like the amusement park paths. It's just a nice little burst of colour. Um, okay, let's have a look at some little park details, assets that we might be able to squeeze in. Is there anything that particularly stands out? Maybe a pavilion? Uh, let's spin this around so it sits with the stairs kind of right on the path. And then maybe a little sign. And maybe like a little directional post. How's that look? I don't want to really overdo it. Let's pop off the UI. So I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you think that looks better than the port? I'm not sure. I think we still need to kind of do something with these sides along here. I actually wonder if we should turn this. Uh, how much commercial is here? There is a fair bit actually. Let's go ahead and turn this into nightlife commercial. Um, let's bring it right up to the key. And then down this side. And then we'll grab all this as well. Uh, right up to there. And then everyone's happy. Uh, Tropical Content says, I prefer this to the port. Fantastic news. That is what I like to hear. If you guys would have turned around and said no, put the port back in, I would have been furious. Now I'm joking. Yeah, the thing's definitely better than the port, doesn't it? Um, let's go ahead and add in a commercial specialization for uh, leisure. Uh, Spring Park. Um, someone give me a new name for this district. Just off the top of your head. Don't even think about it. Just tell me what this new district is called. Uh, Plastic Man said, I like it, looks good, fantastic. Everyone is on board with the new area. Uh, maybe let's try a very small amount of zoning around the edge of a roundabout. I never usually zone on roundabouts, but we'll give it a go here. Uh, Plastic Man says, maybe a couple of fishing spears. And Tropical Content says Unity Square. He was the first to get it in. Unity Square it is. Unity Square. There you go. A couple of fishing pairs. Yeah, let's try it. Let's have some fishing pairs in. Um, oh, these guys don't accept a connection without the road, do they? Um, isn't there some... There's some in the park, isn't there? Park pier. Yeah, it has to be placed in a park area or roadside. Maybe it won't fit anywhere. Oh, it will fit in here, though. How about that? Is that what you had in mind? Yeah, let's have a look at some more of the waterfront tourism buildings as well. Um, jet ski rental. I'd, you wouldn't have jet skiing here, not with all these mega uh, commercial cruise liners knocking around. Uh, yeah, on the road next to the Opera House. Looks like that's where it's going to fit. Maybe we can have. Um, so this is the actual fishing pier itself. How's that going to look? Let's keep popping our UI off. Yeah, it looks okay. <laughs> it's uh, a little bit underwhelming. Maybe when we flesh some stuff out either side of it. Uh, restaurant pair of marinas maybe on the front. Okay. Uh, all this stuff has changed into downtown uh, nightlife stuff now, hasn't it? Got some bars developing along the front. Okay. 
Uh, where am I? What am I looking at? Here we go. Uh, so somebody suggested something, didn't they? Um, yeah, Piers, uh, how about a marina? <laughs> you have to take a leap of faith into your boat. <laughs> It is a very high pier. Let's maybe let's try this around the back. I think it looks better on that side, doesn't it? Uh, Halty says the floating cafe. Um, you have to remind. Where is the floating cafe? I know where it is. I've seen it before. You have to remind me where the floating cafe is. Um, is it a city park building? I do know what the floating cafe is. It, no, it's a it's a park, isn't it? It's a park asset. Yeah, it's here. Yeah, floating cafe. Uh, okay, yeah, let's have this. Out by here. Ah, the water levels always make them look a wee bit silly. Yeah, they do, don't they? Like, you would need a ladder to climb out of your boat if you moored up here. Uh, there's a little bit of land clipping there, actually. Let's um, let's sort that out while we're over here. Let's trim that back a touch. There we go. Okay. Uh, Holder says, impressive area looks superb. Thank you very much, buddy. You guys are all making this area what it is right now. Uh, so the floating cafe. Could you imagine the waves <laughs> from these ships as you're sat on the floating cafe? <laughs> you would be flying around all over the place. Thankfully... Physics does not play a part in City Skylines. Uh, we have a couple of dead people over here. Um, how's the cemetery doing? Do we have a crematorium in the downtown? No, we don't. Um, maybe let's squeeze in. Let's squeeze it in there for right now, just as a temporary measure to deal with the death but honestly you can't really see it yeah I don't think I really want to have the smell of burning body emitted across the new commercial area so we're getting some nice buildings around here now uh, I wonder what type of building we get if we actually zone up the single squares in um, a leisure area I actually don't know what type of building we'll end up getting so we'll try it out Uh, let's make a little more fuss with some uh, bushes leading up to the opera house and see what we get out of it. Let's have them come up the side of the road and then along the sides as well. I've noticed the big leap for the marinas myself. Yeah, it is ridiculous, isn't it? Let's have a little pop up with the UI and a new little spin around the area. Okay. Yeah. I'm about over here, though. Maybe some zone in here. Do we think that would be nice or do we think that's too close to the uni building? Do we maybe just wanna do uh, paths on this? Uh, Plastic Man Golf says the one square commercial will surely get you a dino oil, at least level one. Those guys are everywhere in my town. Um, not with the leisure specialization. We're going to get restaurant ravioli, the tea and biscuits cafe, restaurant elm tree, and and fresh meatballs. 
Uh, Tropical Content says, I love the centipedes on the roundabout. Thank you very much. Roundabouts look horrendous if you don't decorate them. Uh, you know, just some simple trees and a path through the middle will really make a difference. Uh, I wonder if we actually run the path through there as well. Have like a little T shape. Holy visitors, you guys already like it. Stop trying to change things. Uh, okay, can I squeeze a path through here? I'm sure we can. Let's uh, let's force the game into it. Yeah, dino oil is everywhere, man. Oh no, the key is gonna stop it, isn't it? Yeah, the key is gonna stop it here. Okay, uh, maybe let's have a look at some more. Some more tourism and leisure buildings. Um, fishing tours. Do we have that on here? No, it's not close enough to the road. I don't know what to do with the head of this peninsula. Maybe we just tree it up. Let's try it with some trees. Let's go with some nice little simplistic single ones. And uh, see how we feel. Mm, no, don't like that. Okay. Uh, what about putting down city park tiles, then some wee benches and props? That, my friend, may be an excellent shout. Let's give it a go. Yeah, so kind of like a little um, outdoor drinking area before they head in for the show, maybe. Uh, let's bring our brush size down. Uh, let's give this a go. Uh, the terrain is a little janky here. Can we straighten this out? Uh, let's go for level terrain. Yeah, I think it's just the key, isn't it? The key is messing with it. Uh, Halty says, um, how about some part bits, benches, grill, kiosk, etc. Yeah, I think you guys are both on the same page. Let's bring um, the tiles right up to the key. At least as close as we can get them anyway. About there. So, uh, what part of the world is everybody from? Interested to know where my viewers are coming from. Obviously, I think Spartan is American due to his love affair with American football. To halt it, let's make our charge day work. Yeah, man. <laughs> That's what you guys are here for. The bane of my existence. Uh, how are we looking going up the slope there? No, I think we'll leave these ones empty. Oh, I've just deleted the key. Nightmare. Uh, let's go ahead and grab it back in. And of course now it doesn't want to go back in. I absolutely hate keys. Okay, let's turn snapping this off. Oh, I'll fix that later. I'm not gonna force you guys to sit through me messing with keys. <laughs> um, Chocolate Condit says I'm from Southampton, England. Oh, I have a friend from Southampton. Uh, I went to university with him. He was a he was a pretty cool guy. Okay, so this slope. I want to be careful with the tile placement here. I don't want this to be uh, too radical, but we'll we'll try it anyway. And then up to there. Okay. Uh, Farnborough, Hampshire. Uh, for Halty. I don't know where Farnborough is. I'm, I'm pretty sure I've heard of Hampshire before. Uh, and Plastic Man is from Glasgow. I guess the Scottish connection with the use of the word we uh, to describe something of minuscule size. Uh, this is too many benches, isn't it? 
Let's, uh, let's wind it back in a little bit. Let's uh, plop our tar back down. Again, a little bit overkill with the benches. Let's go for one here. One here and here. And a couple of random bins. Uh, Spartan Angel is yes, America, Florida. Um, yeah, I thought that might give it away. Yeah, I thought it was. <laughs> uh, Spartan, my friend once told me to do something hilarious, and that is to Google Florida man dot dot dot, and then seeing what absolutely ridiculous news story comes up. Um, it's usually something crazy, like Florida man attacks woman with cat or something ridiculous. So um, I don't know if your state is known as a little bit of crazy town, but... Um, it is hilarious if you just go ahead and Google Florida man does like insert ridiculous activity here. Uh, okay, path, path, path. Can we squeeze this in? Yes, we can. Let's go ahead and bring it up. Okay, and that'll do. Just as a nice little border. And then let's grab some of our park props again. Uh, so we wanted... Maybe we can squeeze a couple of flower beds either side of it. Yeah, it's strange with the terrain here, isn't it? The keys really mess with the terrain. Um, without key anarchy on. Let's go for a couple of... Um, Couple of little fast food joints along the uh, the water shore here. And one there. And then maybe like a little like you can see how it just sinks into the land as you move down the key. Um the ice cream truck is submerged. Let's bring this guy up a little. And then let's grab a uh, Okay, uh, maybe like a little, little sand pit for the kids, and then I think around the sides of this, um, let's bring in uh, a couple of little palm trees, some like little tiny palm gardens, and then we'll place uh, a couple of tiny rocks in here as well. Onto here. And then there. And how it says that looks very good, apart from this. <laughs> it's sunken in, that's a moving back just a tiny, tiny amount. Uh, it's actually having facing uh, out of the water. Oh, the terrain here is so janky. It looks very good. Yeah, I think it's certainly better than just leaving it empty, isn't it? We have just people moving around here. Again, it's a shame that Sims won't come and use the props. But um, you know, this isn't my this isn't my finest work. This um these this terrain is not very friendly. Maybe we can actually leave this key broken and use a rock. Would a rock fit in here? Okay, let's find a bigger one. Yeah, so it would. Oh, these things are going to be too big, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, well. I'll fix that away off camera. I'm not going to force you guys to watch me play with keys for the next hour. Uh, man, we've been streaming for two hours. and I'm getting hungry, guys. So we're going to call it a day there. Um... Really good stream tonight. Thank you so much for everyone that stopped by. Uh, it really does mean a lot. Um, the next episode of the build guide will be out on Saturday. 
and we'll be doing some cool things over in the build guide and don't forget to keep an eye out for the new Cities Skyline series that is starting on Sunday uh, Cities Skyline's modular builds uh, they're going to be interchanging a build video with a tutorial video um, every other Sunday so uh, keep an eye out for that and let me know what you think in the comments as always uh, the next city skyline stream will be on Sunday as well. We'll play some to we'll play some Warhammer two um to kick off the day, and then we'll also play some city skylines again. Uh, carry on detailing the build guide, um after Saturday's episode. So thanks for watching everyone. Um really appreciate you stopping by for so long as well. Um like you guys have been sat here for two hours watching me play city skylines. <laughs> That's crazy. Thank you so much. It really does mean a lot. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching, guys. And as always, enjoy the rest of your day. And I'll speak to you on Saturday in the build guide.